Hello everyone, welcome back to Sharky Plays the Crooked Man. In the last episode, we got the code to the door, ironically, like in the last episode of Penumbra. And, um, now we're in the food storage, I guess I think it was called. And, uh, actually, because it sounds really loud, let me do a quick check of my audio. So, we have this glowing object, which I'm not going to check just yet. Because it means that we're supposed to. And there's a ladder here. What's this? You see something shining, but it's out of reach. Well, I guess we take this ladder. I could use this to get up to that thing. And uh, I did change my mic setting. Because I have my light source coming from over here now, and you can see that there's casting a shadow. Because, you know, I can't really get decent lighting, so I moved my mic to the other side. So hopefully the audio quality is a little better since I'm actually facing this way now. But it's all a learning experience. You never get perfect at what you do. Got the key to room 210. Alright. So, 210. Do a quick save. Where are we right now? Alright, so it's going to be on the second floor across the hallway. Now, I was giving this game a lot of crap for being uh, pretty slow. But then like, I actually started thinking about it, and like, this game has complete lack of atmosphere. Like, there's the wind sound, but there's no music, no other sound other than the doors and everything. And... I feel like the initial buildup will be relevant, but not until the end of the game. Like, I feel like the prologue and whatever happens at the end will be tied together, but this whole, I'm walking back and forth, this whole uh, hotel setting is its own kind of thing. But, like, it's very unsettling when you actually take into account, like, the lack of atmosphere this game has. Because it's just, it's just you exploring, and like there's no build up or anything. It's just this howling wind sound. You have no idea what's going to happen. Looks like something was badly burnt. Was this a photo? It looks like it was a woman. Hmm. There's something under the pieces. Got a scrap from a notebook. I don't need her memory anymore. I know she won't come back, so I have to forget everything, good and bad. Ugh, my head hurts. This is a ringing sound. Phew, it's settled down. Sheesh, I'm exhausted. I guess I haven't slept much. So, he burnt this photo to clear his broken heart, huh? I... I know I couldn't do that. I'll never forget. Not ever. According to Paul, that makes me a pansy. And apparently, David and that one girl who called him or something have a history, but they're not really revealing it. I'm piecing together a bad breakup. But I don't think we'll know until it's revealed. Sissy. Oh, there you are, David. Did you find the box? No, I can't find it. There's a lot of rooms I can't go in, so it might be in one of those. What's wrong, David? You look kind of pale. I haven't slept in a couple of hours. I bought a guy with a head whose turn whose head was turned, you know, ninety a hundred and eighty degrees. Just eh, you know, normal day. Oh, it's nothing. But sissy, you should really leave soon. Why? You may not believe me, but he's finally telling her of the circumstances. There's some kind of bizarre monster around. I found it in the basement. I was attacked by it earlier. You'd definitely be in danger, too. So I think you should go. 
Look, I don't like dark, scary places either. But there's no need to tease me like that. I'm not a kid afraid of the boogeyman, okay? Uh, sorry, but I'm not trying to tease you. I'm telling the truth. It just took me forever to tell you because I didn't think of the situation at the time. Yeah, <laughs> don't worry. I'm not mad. You don't seem like a dishonest guy, so I'd like to believe you, but... A monster? Maybe you mistook something in the dark. You could be susceptible to seeing things when you wander around in the dark like that. I'd like to think you're right. Alright, if you insist. But be careful, okay? I know. Well, I'll go look elsewhere. Like I've been doing this entire game. My lips are really chapped. Ugh. I hate that feeling. Alright, so we have a burnt note. Anything around here? Should I sleep? Nope. Let's check this one more time. What did, uh... Okay, so that was that. And once again... Where do I go? Oh, fuck me. What? Oh, there's blood on the floor now. A message in red? Was this here before? Leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Come to me. I'm waiting for you. Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written it? Huh, you're back. Why? I dropped you down a pit. I'm a fucking monster, David. Crap, I gotta do something. Okay, I can't check anything else anymore, so I guess we're committed. Holy fuck. He is fast. Okay, I didn't expect him to speed up like that. Let's try this one more time. Sounds pretty inconsistent. Who could have written this? Enter left stage. And say they dropped him down a pit. He doesn't give your shit. Let's, uh... Damn it, this monster doesn't give up. Okay, I, uh, before cutting back in, I looked at everything on the table, and I remember the bourbon. It said we could catch fire, so I'm assuming we're going to throw a Molotov at it. Uh, I guess that won't do much. What else can I do? The lighter? Aha! Now that he's covered in alcohol, he should be pretty flammable. Set this bitch on fire. Ah. He ran away. Whew. What the hell is that thing? It's the crooked or the crooked man, however you want to pronounce it. I think it's actually the crooked man. Because I watched, uh... I watched one of the Wolf Among Us episodes, and they called him the Crooked Man, so... What the hell is that thing? Why is it chasing me? How did it survive before? I might need something to defend myself. Now where could I look? Save, save... Alright, I guess, uh... I guess we're going to need that knife. That could be an option. So let's... Food storage? Yes. Okay, that's fucking convenient, I guess. A fruit knife. Maybe I should take it, just for self-defense. Got a knife. A small fruit knife. Oh, there's blood now. 
B blood? This wasn't here earlier. Did... Did something happen to Sissy? I'd better look for her. And I'd better save the game. More blood. So much blood. Blood here. Can I not walk through it? Oh, that is bad game design. So we're... F nope, not there. We're following the blood trail. The door is unlocked. Sissy, why is... Why is there blood? Sissy, what are you doing here? Your arm's bleeding. So it was your blood. Were you hurt? No, I wasn't hurt. My arm's just bleeding because, you know, it felt like it. My arm caught on something. It's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. It's bleeding a lot, though. And you've been resting here, right? What if you have anemia? I'm just a little tired. I've been walking around a lot. Really, don't worry about it. Give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief. So I can at least try to wrap it up. I love these cutscenes. This is a great touch. You don't really get cutscenes uh, like this in most RPG Maker games. I mean, you get them in like Mad Father and Maceo. I don't think we got any in the Witch's House, but they're a nice little touch. I guess this is better than nothing. Doesn't hurt. It's fine. Thank you. You're so kind, David. You don't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly? It's silly that I'm wandering this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm, all to find some measly box. Measly? But it's important, right? A memento from your boyfriend? Well, he's my ex, to be exact. Huh? David, I mean... She's looking for a gift from her ex-boyfriend. It's, it's not rocket science. Ugh. He left me quite a while ago. But while we were dr dating... Dating not driving, like my mind wanted me to say. This hotel was our special place. That was when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him. But it was no good. Coming here brought back all these memories. Why did you break up? I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness. But when we broke up, he said it was all I had. And he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I mean, it's not it's not being it's not bad when all you have is kindness. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Sorry, I know I'm just annoying you. I'll rest here a little longer. I'm a little dizzy. I may, ha I may have that anemia you spoke about, and I could be passing out right now because of blood loss. Oh, my fucking nose every time. Thanks for your help, David. Oh! I found this. Not sure where it goes, though. A key to somewhere. 
Oh my god, Uri, come on, man. You give me a fucking key. He says, this goes somewhere. Try to find it. Thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. I'm going somewhere. Save so I don't have to sit through that again. And... Somewhere key. A key used somewhere unknown. Fuck. How can you not let me walk across this blood? That is just terrible fucking game design. What? Why are you always like this, David? Like... Like what? You're always such a yes man. Just going with the flow. Don't you have a personality? I don't mean to. I mean, I try to think for myself. I don't see it that way. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. Is this his girlfriend? It would be the same with anyone but me, right? That's why I can't trust you. P look, please, just listen. I'm always thinking about you. If I'm a pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again. Thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. The, then what should I do? If you just don't trust me, is that it? It's hopeless for us. I hate for it to end this way. But it would just be an annoyance for us both to stay together any longer. Thanks for everything, David. Goodbye. W wait, we can talk this out. Shirley! Don't call me Shirley. Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that. Timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way too. Save. We'll find out the answer to those questions in the next episode. For right now, this is Sharky Eye Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.